Okay, we're back. This is uh, Dave Vellante from SiliconAngle.tv's continuous coverage of, of IBM IOD. This is we're wrapping up here today. We're packing the cube up. We're going to Strata. Uh, my colleagues, John Furrier, Mark Hopkins, and uh, several others, Stu Miniman and a number of other of our team are down there at Strata. But we're here at IOD, live in Vegas. Jeff and I will be flying the red eye in tonight. Mm -hmm. Going live tomorrow, uh, eight hours again, here at, uh, Wednesday and Thursday. Big data, it's where all the action is here at it's IBM. quite a week. What'd you think, Jeff? Uh, I th it was very impressed, I think. Uh, you know, they, uh, IBM has come a long way in just, just even the last year in terms of getting their messaging straight on big data. Uh, and also, I, I was impressed on the, uh, how, how far along they've come in terms of integrating a lot of these analytic acquisitions they've made over the, over the years. Um, you know, with the pure data system, and the T's are playing a key role there. Um, they're really starting to turn these assets into products that actually, you know, really I think customers can understand uh, and kind of taking that broad portfolio and, and telling a more cohesive story. But, okay, and a lot of this is IBM really has done a great job of packaging the message, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, we saw the, the new stuff, the Hadoop stuff taken off. I mean, obviously, IBM obviously played there, but it took us some time to <clears> figure out, okay, how do we bring the analytics piece in? How do we bring the smarter planet, smarter computing piece in? Mm -hmm. The expert integrated systems in? How do we weave that together in a story? And they've done a really good job of that. Um, at the same time, you wrote a piece recently, you know, talking about sort of the schism between the old and the new, mm -hmm. and where investment should be. You, you, you use the analogy of a stock portfolio, where you want to put those uh, investments. I think IBM sees that, that more increasingly investments are going to go to that Hadoop world. IBM's fond of saying, as, as, as are others, Hadoop is not big data, but we were talking earlier, Hadoop enables big data. It changed the perspective on data mm -hmm. from really looking at data as a, as a, a, a a liability, as a problem that had to be managed, as something that was hard, you had to mine it, to something that just unlocked tremendous value potential. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, I mean, I think, you know, Hadoop, depending on, on the, the company you keep, sometimes Hadoop gets a bad rap, but I think, fundamentally, Hadoop really changed uh, not just the, the, the technology or the technology reality on the ground, it changed mindsets, what, what's possible with big data. Um, and so yeah, so, so you know, our uh, approach, our thesis, research thesis is really is that it, we're moving towards a world of unified big data platforms. The idea of having multiple clusters of, uh, of uh, applications and, and databases for different uh, use cases uh, managed separately, we think in the long term, uh, strung together through connectors, we think in the long term really just isn't, isn't feasible. Um, so you know, and we've, had that thesis, I think, validated over the last couple of days, uh, where IBM today is talking a lot about connectors, where they're integrating their different uh, pieces of the portfolio, but there was you know, certainly an acknowledgement that they're moving in the direction of a, of a more comprehensive, uh, unified platform. We're still a long way, but I think in the long term, that's the direction we need to go. So, let's do a little strata preview here. What are we going to sure. see tomorrow? What's your expectation? We're seeing a spate of announcements now. Last week we saw Adapt announced, uh, they believe Hortonworks and Microsoft announced, MapR announced today. Um, we've, got a, 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 we've got a number of other announcements coming this week. What's the big theme or the big themes that you expect to see at Strata? Mm -hmm. Well, right, yeah, so a lot of news uh, to keep straight uh, that, that came out today, there's going to be more tomorrow. Uh, but I think for me, there's the, the two big themes are going to be around, uh, one is the big data application development space. We've been talking a lot here at Wikibon about the need uh, for, for more big data applications to actually start to extract value from big data, from Hadoop, and, and uh, kind of the infrastructure layer. Um, the idea being, you know, really, you've got to do the, the hard work on the plumbing, certainly, and you've got to do the analytics, but ultimately you've got to deliver that in an application. Uh, and we haven't seen a lot of activity there until, until now. This week, as a matter of fact, we're going to see some very interesting announcements around uh, that space, specifically around big data application development platforms, rather than out of the box applications. Uh, a couple of creative uh, ways to help enterprises build customized big data applications in an iterative fashion quickly. Uh, so I think that's one area to keep an eye on. Uh, the other one, of course, is, is this whole real-time uh, query capabilities coming together with the batch, deep 
analytics that Hadoop is you know, known for. So you know, everyone's trying to add that uh, kind of SQL-like capability. So you can do, yeah, you, your data scientists can do their really deep analytics, but also your business user can, can, can hit the Hadoop cluster and get an answer back quickly. So we're going to see a lot of uh, activity around that in terms of different approaches that some of the Hadoop players are taking to adding that type of functionality to their platforms. Yeah, and it's going to be a different vibe than we're seeing at this show, right? A lot of startups, a lot of innovation. You know, this innovation here was all coming out of IBM. Yeah, there's some partners here, mm -hmm. but, uh, but there's a real diversity that we'll see there. Uh, this is uh, really IBM, it's integrated. It's that big blue blanket that I talked about. IBM really focusing on the business value, delivering that business value, defining that for customers, identifying customer outcomes. Mm -hmm. um, really doing a good job there, Jeff. And, uh, you know, I'm impressed. I do think, you know, I've always we've had IBM at the top of the list. I think, I think this event underscores the, the vastness of IBM's big data portfolio. And, and they're starting to pull it together. Uh, you know, when you probe, there's a lot of stuff that's, you know, we got our best people working on it. <laughs> you know, which yeah, is there was not a lot uncommon. of, we can't quite talk about it yet. Kind yeah, of, not, yeah. not uncommon for a company the size of IBM's and, and they'll fill gaps with, with acquisitions, but, but, uh, but in general, making a lot of progress. You're seeing a lot of investment, a lot of innovation, a lot of R&D, a lot of products coming out. Mm -hmm. um, it's not just a bunch of services, as we oftentimes right. you know, criticize, sort of tongue-in-cheek, IBM services led, still big services business, but there's a, there's a lot of products coming, around, coming out here that, that can enable services for sure, uh, but you're seeing you know, a number of the business partners and a number of the customers just really glomming on to what IBM's doing in this big data space and solving some real problems. Yeah, I think we, you know, we really should give IBM credit. This is not a case that we've talked before about uh, certain uh, of the mega vendors kind of uh, slapping the big data label on some of their products. Um, you know, IBM clearly from the, from the folks we've talked to this week, they've been doing this work, this research for a long time. And then, you know, IBM is, is well known for their R&D and this is not a kind of fly-by-night decision uh, by IBM to uh, engage in this, this market. They've been focused on it for a long time. Uh, spent a lot of money in R&D, spent a lot of money in acquisitions. Um, and then I think tying together kind of this event and Strata, you know, it, it begs the question, at some point there's going to be a consolidation in the, in the big data uh, space among all the startups, many of whom we're going to see this week. Um, so it'll be interesting to see, you know, certain, believe me, IBM and uh, Oracle and others are, are watching events like Strata, uh, eyeing up their next acquisition targets. So uh, it, probably, I mean, we're not going to see any news along those lines this week, but you know we're getting to that point where uh, you know IBM is clearly keeping an eye on what's going on in the open source space um, and has shown it's willing to to, to shell out the money uh, to make strategic acquisitions. All right, Jeff, I think it's a wrap. So uh, really, want to thank everybody for watching our, our tech team, Alex Wilcox and, and Mike Jones. Thank you guys. You know, do a great job as usual. Mark Hopkins, you know, directing it all from. Uh, from afar, we'll see you in, uh, at, at Strata, and, and the rest of our team, you know, Kristen Nicole, Bert Lattimore, Maria Deutscher, uh, um, you know, a number of other writers, uh, Amber's putting out some great stuff, Amber Harris, Josette, you know, thanks you guys. Uh, Jeff, thank you for, for helping out, and John Furrier, my, my yesterday's co-host, and you know, we'll see John in, uh, in New York City at Strata. So this is a wrap, thanks everybody for watching. We'll be on live tomorrow, uh, we go live at about 10.30 East Coast time. Uh, we're going to kick it off, we're going to analyze uh, the, the day, we're going to talk about the news, what we expect, and we're going to have a, a spate of guests tomorrow, Jeff. Maybe we can get some previews in here. We got yeah, a number of startups. I mean, let's, um, we, are, we are packed tomorrow. We're going to be talking to, just, I'll just throw out some names, companies, Hadap, Tableau, uh, Cloudera, of course. Um, yeah, let's see, uh, MapR, uh, Squirrel, uh, and then, of course, some, some practitioners. Uh, we'll be talking to the global head of development and Thompson Reuters, uh, so hear what they're doing. Todd Papiano uh, uh, runs Continuity, mm -hmm. very hot company, stealth startup in California coming mm -hmm. out of stealth. Yep. Uh, uh, Peter Goldmacher, who is the, uh, the big data analyst at Cowan and Company, mm -hmm. is going to be on. Doug Cutting, we'll have Hortonworks on. Google, we're going to have Google on talking Google's about BigQuery. Uh, some of the things they're doing. Number um, of VCs, Abby Meta will come on, our yep. friend Abby Meta from Traseda. Mm -hmm. uh, we got Microsoft coming on. Microsoft. Uh, yep. We got Chris Lynch coming on on Thursday from Atlas Venture. Uh, that's always a, an exciting segment. Lynch brings it, he brings his A game every time he comes on theCUBE. 
Uh, we got Mapbar coming on. Mm -hmm. um, Aerospike. Yeah, Aerospike. I mean, Aerospike's a very interesting company, uh, Jeff. A uh, new company uh, that, that you know, we found, uh, that John Furrier sort of uncovered, brought, brought to our attention, very excited mm. about those guys. Really a new type of scalable, NoSQL database, really you know, a taking advantage of Flash, so, so they'll be on. Um, you know, very excited about that. Opera, we've had Opera Solutions on a couple of times. They're really stepping up their game um, yep. in this whole space. Yep. They're a big player in that big data application space that we've uh, been watching, so that'll be interesting. Some other customers, uh, visually, uh, ad marketplace, so great lineup, Platform is going to come on. Um, so keep watching, <laughs> really appreciate your support. And uh, we're a wrap, thanks everybody, this is Dave Vellante with Jeff Kelly. Uh, check out wikibon.org for all the research and siliconangle.com for the breaking news. And uh, go to youtube.com slash siliconangle and check out all these videos, that's a wrap. We'll see you tomorrow at Strata. This is theCUBE, thanks for watching.